Um, let's try this one uh, for the first problem of the day. Um, so this one is talking about uh, the actual electron configuration of fluorine, so the atom fluorine. Um, so what is the electron configuration of fluorine? So how do we do this, if you guys remember? So um, it's just that 1s, 2s stuff. Um, so you just got to look at the periodic table. So remember, the periodic table, it's like your cheat sheet. So and remember, you'll always have it available to you. So it's really cool. Um, if you learn how to use it, um, a lot of your chemistry problems will be solved uh, just by looking up at it. So um, it really um, does come in handy. But anyways, um, uh, this will be the, one of the first problems that we talk about uh, in relation to that. But anyways, so uh, if you look where fluorine is, so it's group um, 7 or 7A or 17. Um, all of those are correct names for that group. So it's the second from the right, OK? And remember, we call those the halogens, if you recall the common name of those, OK? So um, it's in the group known as the halogens. And they're fairly um, common for uh, you to see in um, introductory or general chemistry, so um, I'd go ahead and learn about it. So this is a good problem to understand because it really applies to um, not just fluorine, but chlorine, bromine, and iodine too. Um, but anyways, uh, for some parts that is. But anyways, so uh, what is the electron configuration of fluorine? So uh, it's this group seven and you can see it's period two or row two. So remember row and period are the same thing, but periodic tables that we call periods. Um, so it's all the way almost to the end there. So uh, if you recall, period one is where you get the electron configuration uh, designated as one. And the S is the first um, uh, orbital, set of orbitals that's going to be filled. Um, and remember, if you count from the periodic table, like hydrogen, helium, right? So there's two of them, so you put a two there, right? So then you go to the next period, and then that's going to be two. And remember, uh, um, S uh, orbital is the first one that's filled, so um, two S, and then you look, uh, lithium, beryllium are the first two elements on that period, so two. So in fact, this would be the electron configuration for beryllium. And then you go on to uh, the next portion of the periodic table, which is the P block, remember? So two P, two because we're still in that same period or same row. P because we're in the P block. And remember, the periodic table is set up to show you how many electrons can fit into those orbitals. So if you look, it's Right, six electrons, but fluorine is only the fifth one there. So you count one, two, three, four, five, right? Put a five there. Okay, so that's the full electron configuration of fluorine, or the electron configuration of fluorine. So how many valence electrons does fluorine have? Well, um, for valence electrons, right, you just look at the last period because it's the last shell of electrons, or the last um, energy level of electrons. So uh, if we look here, right, there's uh, seven valence electrons, right? Two plus five is seven, so fluorine has seven valence electrons. And you can re represent that, later you'll uh, learn about this. Um, you represent this as what we, what's known as a Lewis structure, so fluorine with its elemental symbol there, and then you draw its electrons as little dots. Okay. And you can see those seven valence electrons. And, and in fact, in a second, we'll learn that um, atoms are what will be known as ions, uh, when in the case of fluorine, uh, prefer to be uh, have their octet filled or um, have eight electrons. So, But anyway, so uh, what is the energy level of these electrons? Um, well, again, uh, the energy level is uh, what period they're on. So uh, the energy level here is two for fluorine. Um, and in fact, you a lot of times will designate that as an energy level. Uh, what's the total number of electrons in fluorine? Well, if you can do your full um, electron configuration, 
right? You just count up that number. So valence electrons, total number of electrons would be 2, 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. So let's put that somewhere. 9 total electrons. And remember, E with a little superscript minus is a common shorthand form for electrons. And um, what was the last part of the question? Uh, where are the other electrons? Well, um, I, I, I guess they're talking about the ones that aren't the valence electrons. So the other two electrons, so seven or nine, nine minus seven valence, right, leaves you with two electrons. So where are those two? So those are the inner electrons. So those are the ones that are in the energy level 1. So those two that are in the 1s energy level. Okay. So again, you can uh, do this with, in fact, all the atoms and their um, equivalent ions, too, when we learn about that. And in fact, we'll uh, learn uh, another form of uh, electron configuration that's called the condensed electron configuration, right, where you um, actually substitute uh, the noble gas um, for the energy levels that are below the valence level. So in this case, I guess since I'm doing it, I'll just show you since we're recording the video, but you can look at it later. Um, we would call this helium in brackets. 2s2, 2p5. Um, so this is called condensed. Um, I know it's not very condensed here, but when you're down to like, I don't know, bromine or whatever, um, you'll see that it really helps out so, because you don't have to write all of this. You'll know what I'm talking about later. Okay, cool.